I'll show you how to program or generate a working transponder on a smart key system on Toyota and we're gonna work now on Toyota RAV4 2010 you can, you can see the immobilizer light is flashing which means the immobilizer is active even when we press the brake pedal and then we press the start button we cannot start the car for that reason we need an active working pass-through head as a pass-through head we're gonna use now the AVDI original AVDI hardware we're gonna use our Tango programmer the original one and we're gonna use our special SLK emulators which you can see they have a different dot color which is to show you that they can be used for 40, 80, 128 bit transponders so as we know the H and G the new smart key system this emulator is powered up by a battery and once you remove the battery the memory of the emulator is erased which means it's a multi-use emulator it's not one time usable so for that reason we're gonna start the Tango software once we start the Tango software then we're gonna run the Tango Plus Toyota software And all this is done via OBD. We connected the pass-through head to the OBD of the car. And we have few options here. First option, if you have an already saved EEPROM file from this car, you can press open file and then you can write, you can put directly the file into the software and that will help you generate directly transponder to start the car. Or if you don't have it, we connect through OBD. First we have to choose the password head. We're gonna use the VCI. You can see we have several heads, but we're gonna use the first one VCI. And then press yes to change, save the change. Now we press connect to a car. And you can see the sign OK, which means that we are already connected to the car. Now, from here, we have the option read data from car. When we press it, this will take several minutes and we're gonna wait until the file is read. Once the EEPROM file is read, you're gonna see the OK sign and you're gonna see the key content that is stored into the vehicle memory smart box. You can see two keys already programmed to the car. You can see the ID numbers of the keys. You can save the file if you want to work or make something with future jobs on this car. But also it's very important to read the information below the key content. So keys number 94 has been detected in the car which means that we have to use the SLK01 transponder emulator and this emulator corresponds the SLK01 is the one with the yellow dot so we take the battery put it into the emulator 
and we take the emulator and put it into the Tango programmer. When we put it into a Tango programmer, then we go to the software and press write emulator. Now we're going to choose which one we're going to write, which is in this case is SLK1. Press OK. And this will start writing the emulator. When you have the sign OK, then this emulator is ready to start the car. This is not a remote key, it's only a transponder which will allow you to start the car or help you to program additional original remote keys with keyless go function. Because as you know, you need to have one working key to be able to program another for the smart system. What you have to do to start the, the car is put the key like this here, press the brake pedal and you see the green light is on and then press and start the car. Now we can use this emulator to give ignition on also and to be able to program another key for the car. Also, if you want to use it for another car, all we have to do is to remove the battery and the memory of this key is already erased. If you plug it in again, you will not be able to use it anymore. See, you have the sign, no key detected. And this is the only tool that can program keys for all smart key systems from 2008 to 2016 and even 2017 till nowadays.